Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about different integration techniques. Why we need different integration techniques. To discuss that, we have to talk about differentiation. Now, why do we start with differentiation? Because differentiation and integration have an interesting relationship. What is it? Let's say you want to differentiate a function f. Now, once you differentiate function f, let's say you want to reverse the process. You want to go back. You want to undo it. What do we use? What is the tool that we use from mathematics? Integration. Okay. So integration is the undo button for differentiation. Same other way around. Let's say you integrate function f with respect to x. Now you, you get some kind of a function g. Let's say now you want to undo it. You want to reverse that integration. You want to go back from g to f. The tool that we use is differentiation, okay? So for integration, the undo button is differentiation. For differentiation, the undo button is integration. So that is the simplest way we can understand this relationship, okay? So yeah, let's talk about differentiation. Now, let's try to differentiate the functions in this first column. So for example, if you differentiate x cubed, we can use basic differentiation rules, right? That 3 comes out, so 3. x to the 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get 3x squared. That's what we have. So if you differentiate e to the x, you get e to the x. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of natural log x is 1 over x, okay? So if you differentiate 2x squared plus 1, we'll get 4x, okay? Right. So to differentiate all those functions, I simply use the basic differentiation rules, right? So to differentiate x cubed, I use the rule that if you differentiate something like x to the n, what do we get? n times x to the n minus 1, right? And to differentiate e to the x, we know as a fact that derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That's one of the... Uh, fundamental differentiation rule right that you have memorized so that you have that you know okay now let's try to undo everything let's try to go from second column to first column how what do i get if i integrate 3x square i will get so let's see 3x square if you integrate 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c right so we learn about these basic different basic integration rules Previously, so in case if you have missed that video series that I'm, I'm explaining basic integration rules, click on the link that appears above in this video and review basic integration rules, okay? So now here what we get is 3x cubed over 3 plus c. This 3 cancel out. Well, what we get is x cubed plus c. Well, we get the same function up to a constant. What is up to a constant mean? Because you have plus c when you do in indefinite integration right so if you integrate e to the x similarly you get e to the x plus c okay so we can get the more of the same function up to a constant if you use the undo button that means if you use integration now again to integrate again to integrate all these functions that appear in each row okay we use basic integration rules now i want to see i want you to see the correspondence I use basic differentiation rules to go from first column to second column. Now to go from second column to first column, I use basic integration rules, right? Okay, now here's the thing. Let's try to differentiate, here's, here's a challenge. Let's try to differentiate the function x times e to the x. Now, how do you differentiate this? Do you differentiate x separately and ex separately and multiply? No, we have to use product rule, right? So what kind of other rules that we have in differentiation? Product rule, chain rule, quotient rule. So we need to use them if we have to differentiate a function that that is that doesn't look like a basic function or that doesn't fit into our basic differentiation rules, right? So likewise, let's say you differentiate this function x times e to the x using product rule. Let's say you got something. Now think about this. If you want to reverse the process, of course you have to use integration, but you have to have a counterpart for product rule in integration. 
Do you see what I mean? If you use chain rule to differentiate a function, now if you want to undo it, you need a counterpart, a similar technique, a reverse process in integration to reverse the process, right? That is why we need all these integration techniques. We have integration by substitution, integration by parts, integration by partial fractions. So all these methods are to reverse the process that for, for functions that we can't uh, differentiate using simple rules okay right so now on that note i'm gonna discuss a very common mistakes mistake that you do when you do integration now how about if you want to integrate x plus e to the x with respect to x how can you do this well, we learned about this in the second video of the basic integration review video series where we can integrate these two functions separately and add, right? Like I can integrate x, which is x square over 2. I can integrate e x separately, which is e to the x plus c. That's easy. Now, how about if I want to integrate x times e to the x? How can we do this? Well, can we do it like, well, this is x square over 2, integral of x is x square over 2, integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c. Similarly here, we integrate separately and we multiply. We can't do that. This is wrong. This is correct, but this is wrong. Okay? Now, you want to understand this multiplication is, a, is, a ve is very different. It operates differently from addition within these rules. Okay? So, this is a very common mistake that you do. Now, to integrate these type of functions, we have to use a special integration technique. Just like you can differentiate x plus e to the x. You can differentiate these two functions separately and add. But if you want to differentiate this, you have to use chain, uh, no, not chain rule, I'm sorry, product rule. Same in integration. If you want to integrate, we have to learn what is the technique, okay? Right, here's an exercise that you must do before you move into learn integration by substitution or integration by parts. So let's do it. What is the exercise says? So exercise wants you to decide, not to solve, just decide whether which one of these integrals that you can integrate using basic integration rules? Which one of these integrals do not need uh, fancy integration rules? Okay, so let's see. First integral. Can you integrate that very easily? Of course, yes, right? You can take that 5 out integral of x is x square over 2. So this can be integrated very easily. How about this one? Don't, don't decide too fast use algebraic tricks now that's very important if you miss that algebraic uh, tricks video go to basic integration review playlist that appear on the above of this video and i think that's the video 10 of that series learn about algebraic tricks one of the algebraic tricks that we can use is we can foil so let's try to foil it so if you foil this you can get x times e to the x minus 2 times e to the x i just distribute that e to the x now, can you integrate x, e, x separately? Uh, easily, not separately, easily. I mean, can you integrate 2 to the e, x? This can be done very easily, but this cannot be done easily, right? Because it's a multiplication between x and e, x. So even though, even we use algebraic trick, it didn't help. So this is not something that you can do right away using basic integration rules. How about x times e sine x? Same argument. We can't do that right away. We need a special technique, right? Because it's multiplication between x and sine x. You cannot integrate x separately, sine x separately, and multiply. You cannot do that. How about 4? We can use basic integration here, right? Because you have a subtraction among each of these functions, we can integrate separately. We can integrate x square, we can integrate x, we can integrate 2, and simply we can quickly do that this is x cube over 3 if you integrate x square if you integrate x it's x square over 2 if you integrate negative 2 it's 2x plus c that can be done right okay that's allowed so subtraction and addition are very nice operators in integration okay all right fifth one we can integrate one separately and e to the x square separately but even though can we integrate e to the x square easily 
No, we can't. Why? We can integrate e to the x easily, but e to the x square is much more difficult than e to the x, right? e to the x square is a composition of two functions. Inside exponential, you have another function x square. So for example, if you want to differentiate e to the x square, you have to use chain rule, okay? But if you want to integrate, you have to need the counterpart of chain rule, okay? All right, so this can't be done using basic integration right away. Here's a tricky one, six and also seven, a tricky one. Can we use basic integration in six right away? We can use an algebraic trick. Again, if you have missed that algebraic tri trick video, that's a video that you must watch. So go to that basic integration playlist and watch the video number 10, okay? What can we do here? What is the trick here? We can divide each term in the numerator by denominator. So 2x5 over x square minus x over x square. So we split the integral. We split the function. Now we can integrate these three functions separately very easily after some simplification. Okay, I'm not going to do that here, but you can go and watch that video. Okay, so this can be done using basic integration with the help of algebraic tree, okay? Seven, can we integrate x plus two times x minus one easily using basic integration? We can use an algebraic trick first. We can foil that. We can multiply these two out, right? So x times x, x square, x times minus one is minus x, two times x is two x, two times negative one is minus two. That is what we get if you multiply. So you can integrate this one. We see here, we can integrate this each of these functions separately, and that's it, okay? Again, you have to watch that uh, integration review series video number 10 to uh, watch how to solve a full problem. So really, before you jump into conclusion in an integral, oh, I need some kind of a special integration technique to solve that. Before you jump into that conclusion, really use some, uh, try to use some algebraic tricks if it is possible. See whether algebra help you to simplify down your function that you need to integrate into a simpler function where you can easily use basic integration. Okay, all right, it will save a lot of time for you. And that comes with lot of practice so you have to practice a lot so use this note and the note in the previous video in the basic integration review um, video series to practice those problems okay all right so i will see you in the next video click on this we uh, this video to go to um next video to watch our discussion about chain rule all right i will catch you in the next video hopefully bye bye